Hi everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. Today I want to do a process video with you in my journaling Bible. But today's focus is Psalm 47. Um, it's a good psalm that talks about praising God and that he's king of all the earth. The little title for it is God is king over all the earth. And I wanted to focus on verses kind of five through seven. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises to our king, sing, pra sing praises, for God is the king of all the earth. Sing praises with a psalm, sing praises. So my friend Vicki in the UK is also doing Psalm 47. Um, you can see her on Instagram and YouTube. Um, Vicki Vic, you need to look that up. And I will link below her where you can find her. Wanted to use some of this doxology. Um, this says, praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above you, heavenly host. Praise him, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. So all creatures here below is the part I wanted to focus on. And since this is talking about singing to God with a psalm and with a song. I'm going to just tear this so it will fit in the margin. It was so much fun to do. I love just tearing with rulers. What a great discovery that was. It really helped my awful cutting skills because um, I'm always making things uneven. So I'm just using this Tim Holtz ruler. It's got an edge that comes down to more of an angle. And well, let's go ahead and do this. I may end up voicing over here. So I, I may not show all of it, or I may go ahead and just decide to talk through it, depending how long it takes me, because I don't want to keep you forever. So here you see I've got my music page trimmed to size. It was a little bit long, so I'm tearing it. Um, I was just kind of measuring out how the size was going to work decided to take off the margin stuff on the top and bottom and it's just good to see if it's going to fit. I've decided that um, I would trim the corners so it would fit in but my corner cutter is a little dull so I'm touching it up with my Tim Holtz scissors which works super well. It's really sharp and can get in little spaces and I'm seeing too that it's going over into my wording on the page I generally try to keep it where I can read my page, okay, the, uh, the Bible words. So I'm trimming it off, even though I didn't want to cut it because I don't cut straight. So there, that looks good. So I'm going to decide to glue it on. I will show you that. That will be coming up in just a second. Okay, uh, actually out my ink first. I was trying this green shabby shutters and I decided uh, once I got it inked up it just seemed a little bit too light. My ink is really drying out with that shade. So yes I liked that lighter green but I don't feel like it's quite enough. Some of the ink pads seem a little drier than others. So I'm going back and I'm using a different shade. I'm using the blue and trying to get a little deeper shade on the page. And I kind of like the idea of the blue representing Earth too. You know, there's that the big blue planet or whatever they say. Um, so I'm going around with the dauber inking up the music note section so that it shows up better on the page because I want to highlight that area and make it look not exactly part of the original Bible page. I'll put a little cardboard under there so I can see where the edge is and I am gluing it on with the Tombow glue. Um, I like this glue because there's a narrow end and a wide end so if you have a lot of surface to cover you can use the broader end. Um, I first saw this 
clue on I'm a cool mom. Jessica Huffman has a great junk journaling channel on YouTube. And she's the one that introduced me to that glue from me watching. So I'm showing you here the narrow and the broad. And it's really handy. It's maybe 350 or so per bottle, but it seems to last oh, quite a while. I'm deciding here on what embellishments I want to use. I tore out some workbook pages from some workbooks I picked up. I'm considering which washi to use. Some of these scenery ones are Van Gogh artwork made into washi tape. Um, and I'm just not sure because they, they both have the green and the blues to them. And then I also have these map or atlas pages that I tore out. And then this lettering page stuff that's behind there is Missouri, my state in North America, in the um, United States, and then also England is featured. And I'm doing this with my friend Vicki, and she lives in the UK in England, so I thought it would be fun to add her country and my country, but I'm thinking I have too many elements. I have decided that I like this little earth half picture here that was in the front of the atlas. I like the muted colors on it. I think it'll work well with the inks that I've used on my music notes, music page there. And I think that's going to look good on the bottom. I tried the middle, but it's covering up the key words to the song, so I'm trying to top, but I think the bottom will be the best and it will give me some more room for other elements on the page. I had too many things. I have a illustrated Bible with Psalms and Proverbs that I can do more with this passage if I want to later. And some of the extra things that I tore out of workbooks in the Atlas might fit in better with a wider margin. So here I'm talking about where I'm going to put the lettering, trying to decide what other elements I want to add to this. I like the earth there. And I'm trying out this Van Gogh washi at the bottom. I like the colors. I'm tearing it so it fits a little bit better and won't cover up the letters. Um, a lot of washi will tear. If you have the more traditional washi that is like masking tape, it will tear pretty easily, and I do that a lot. I like to tear it in half and get a little bit of a rough edge. And sometimes um, I like that effect better than just a you know rectangular looking piece of washi. So I'm feeling there like I wasn't quite liking how that looked. I felt like the color of the washi and the earth colors were blending too much and it just looked sloppy. So I'm trying this little animal washi tape. It's just black and white and I like it because it's clear. You can see the page through it but it adds some decoration. That's my favorite kind of washi where you can see the page through. And then I'm putting that piece that I carefully removed back up at the top of the page and I'm liking that a lot better. So the colors of the earth and the color in the washi are at opposite ends and sides of the page and I think that adds some balance. I've picked out a cling stamp by Illustrated Faith. It says praise. It's pretty small and it's not sticking really well. Um, if you have that problem, um, you can wet it. I find that if I take a baby wipe or one of those kinds of hand wipe things and just clean up the stamp and the acrylic block that it will stick better again. I'm using a different ink here. It's called Mowed Grass, another Tim Holtz one. Um, so it shows up a little bit better than that lighter one that I tried earlier. And I'm doing it on top, middle, and bottom left so that there's kind of a flow. Um, again, odd number, praise, 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 three times. Um, 
seems to work and I'm picking out now my favorite green Prismacolor it's apple green I use this all the time when I do some basic Bible journaling I have typically gone to just my colored pencils in a black pen when I'm not trying to be more creative with a page but here I'm highlighting the main words that I'm focusing on verses 5 through 7 and I'm going over it so it's pretty dark. The pages on this Bible are cream, and if you go too faint, the distinct color doesn't show up. So I'm just really trying to go over it enough where the words will pop and the color will show, and at the very edge, it's uh, kind of hard to do because the washi went up just a little bit onto the words. Uh, this Sharpie pen works super well for Bible journaling. You get a nice fine tip with it. I don't know what size it is or if it is even specified. Um, it's just a Sharpie pen that's good for underlining or writing in your Bible. And it does not bleed through like a typical Sharpie marker would. And I was calling it a nib and I realized that's from the fountain pen world because I've been looking into fountain pens, but it's just the tip, just a fine tip, Sharpie pen. And now I'm trying to decide what I want to put on the music notes there, the sheet music, the music page uh, that features the doxology. These Tim Holtz letters are super cool. They're like a typewriter font um, that looks kind of weathered or like a close-up typewriter, just that classic typewriter print I really like. And I'm thinking about that. These letters are really neat looking. I will say I don't feel like they stick really well. I don't, I'm not a super fan of the quality of them, but I do like the effect that they create. But I feel like they're kind of flimsy and they don't stick well to the acrylic blocks oftentimes. But they're, they're worth, worth trying to use. They look really cool when it's done. Um, I'm thinking that that's just a little bit too formal of a look. I'm not trying to, um, I don't want it to seem stern or austere. I want a reverent and yet joyful feel to the page. Um, so I am debating here on which lettering I actually want to use. I also had this other Tim Holtz set your caps and lowercase, and they're more, I don't know if you would call, I don't know what you'd call it, more vintage-y looking or something. Um, it's not really typewriter anymore. It's just big, bold, weathered looking letters, which are also super cool. I had these little cursive ones, but that's going to be too small, and that won't, I don't think that'll show up, and it's just a little bit too curly cue-ish. So I'm taking out this other illustrated face set that's kind of random and playful, and that's really setting well with me as I think about it. I'm kind of changing my shift here. I'm deciding to focus on the word sing. Um, I wanted to maybe do God is King or King of all the earth or uh, sing praises to our King. But what is just settling well is the word sing. And this is kind of how I Bible journal. I don't always even have a plan. I just kind of go with what I feel like doing. And that's kind of emerged here. I did start out by having some supplies gathered since I knew I was filming a process video. But I, you know, my just, it just kind of emerges. What I want to do with a page is kind of develops its own personality or thought process. And then I just kind of go with the flow um, I'm debating on the inks that shabby shutters was too faint. I think that this blue is going to be a little too overpowering. If I had an earth that was more blue, it might work well. But I think it's going to be too bright. And I really like this Distress Oxide, another Tim Holtz Ranger product. I have the yellows in the washi. And I think it would go well with the... Um, some of the, the fainter blue, but I'm just not sure. And then I'm, I'm thinking, well, I'll do black because that'll tie up with the music notes and the little creatures on the bottom and the, on the washi. And then I'm rethinking that and I decide that maybe that's gonna be a little bit more overpowering. So 
while I'm deciding, I'm thinking I will mark where I want the letters to be because I have in the past started to use these letters which are very random in size and uh, design and found that they haven't fit. So I have the S on there, I decide to add the I. I'm gonna see if, it, if I can fit Sing from top to bottom. And it seems like it would work and then I'm like, okay, so maybe I wanna angle it and we'll, decided just to put the letters there before I try to play around with fixing them on the acrylic block because I'm going to end up not liking what I do if I don't have just a little bit of a plan here. I tend to not plan well enough sometimes with my pages. I'm liking this kind of, um, you know, slanted one way and then the other, and I've decided to use this orange marmalade ink. I think that the black would be too much, and I'm, I'm liking the idea of the orange on the greenish blue sheet music. I like the angles of the letters, and so I'm going to see here if this will work. I'm thinking I'm going to maybe pick up that letter I if I'm not careful. So I'm just inking up the S, placing it down, and... I am super happy with how this looks. The orange is picking up with the slight, slight amounts of orange in the top washi. But that golden yellow and the orange seem to complement each other. And then I'm going the opposite angle with the letter I. So that there's a playful and what seems to me more like a singing type font here. It is lighthearted, it's slanted, it, brings out the playfulness and I don't know it just seems more joyful than some of those sterner looking letters this kind of playful font I think illustrates the joy better so I've got the first three and I'm going to add the G at the bottom and it fits in really nicely next to my little earth cutout my green planet earth And I think that, that that looks pretty good. I am really happy with how that turned out. Totally unplanned until the last minute, but that's generally how I end up doing my Bible journaling. Kind of takes on a life of its own, and I just kind of go with it. So the next thing here is to decide how I want to do the date stamp. I'm going to do it on the side, left margin. I'm going to use my Tim Holtz Distress Oxide Fossilized Amber probably be a slightly more orangey maybe a little bit on white paper not too much really but I think it's going to show up nice and I think the shade of this distress oxide ink is going to work well with my other color selections I think it's going to go well with the orange without overpowering it I thought that doing the date in the orange was going to be too much competition and the date was going to be on an equal status on the page as the word sing. And I don't want that, but I like this big bold date stamp. It's so funny. It's so big. It's so awkward looking, but I love the big effect of those letters and numbers when I use them. So as you can see, that color on the date works well with the upper washi. It blends well with the sing word and I think that the black and white washi on the bottom and the green highlighting all work well together. They're all kind of represented in the page in equal amounts and I'm, I'm liking that effect. I really like that date stamp. I like the funny letters off the wonky shaped designed letters off to the side. And I'm happy. I'm happy with how this page has turned out. I typically like to add a little finishing effect with these pens. This is a Jelly Roll pen in a transparent color. It just adds a little glimmer. I use that all the time. Uh, I love these Pentel Sparkle pens. They add a metallic effect. They're really wet and inky. Um, some have said a, a juicy feel because they just flow so smoothly and add such a bright colorful effect on the page but 
typically I go with this gold because it just looks neat. These other two colors are good possibilities, the green and the blue, but I wanted to show that the green ends up being almost turquoisey in color and the blue is fairly true to what you would expect based on the packaging, but they're a little bit more intense of a color and I think they're gonna overpower my inks. So I decided just to do the gold and I just like to put little random groups of dots generally in odd numbers throughout the page. I think it just adds some visual interest and texture. It's one of my go-to effects to finish off a page and make it look like it's complete all over. It adds some visual interest in just a very small way. It's easy to get carried away with. Sometimes I do way too much dotting, but it just adds a, a good finish, I think. It ends up being a nice uh, way to summarize the page. And sometimes I will use more colors, but here I just wanted to do a little bit of the gold and I'm liking that effect quite a bit. I, I'm very happy with how this turned out. Hope you enjoyed watching that. Thanks for joining me and be sure to check out Vicki's. I will post her information below so you can see hers as well. We're doing this together where we both have a process video of the same passage. So you can see one done by me here in the United States and one done by my friend Vicki in uh, uh, UK, England. Um, thought that might be fun. I've enjoyed getting to know Vicki and we have lots of similar interests in the crafting and journaling world. So I hope you'll check that out. Thanks for being here and we'll see you next time. Bye.